So this is the iPhone 16 Pro Max and we have right here is our old iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let's look at the difference between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the 16 Pro Max. So right off the bat, as you could see, it is a 6.9 inch screen on this guy. And I think it's 6.7 inch on this guy. So you get that point, uh, point 0.2 inch on the 16 Pro Max. Big deal, right? So I think they just made this difference because you know the cases won't then fit with the iPhone 15 if you're using a iPhone 16 Pro Max. So there is a difference, I guess. Now the other difference is that this color with the blue is actually not a very good color just because it gets scruffs uh, a lot. As you can see down here, I've already like uh, chipped the back glass as well. The iPhone 16 Pros got rid of the blue color and added the Desert Titanium. It's not desert, it's dessert because it's, uh, I think it's color coffee, like the, like the, like a tiramisu. I think that's what it looks like, or mocha. Like if you're eating like a chocolate, you know, like a mocha type of uh, dessert, that's what they're referring to with that. And then the other difference with this is the physical button. Of course, you know, the camera control on the side, right there. The camera control, oh no, not that one, that's the SIM card. This guy, see, a camera control button right there. And on this guy, it doesn't have that, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let's just talk about the camera control here. So basically the camera control, um, if you notice, it's flush with the side of the iPhone and the buttons are a physical, you know, you can, it sinks in, as you can see there right right here as well the action button and the volume rockers and then you got your sim card tray there which um in us i believe they don't even have that um the other difference as well is that this button for the camera control is capacitive now i believe that the camera control is there so that they can test out if this type of button will actually make a difference on the rest of the buttons on the iPhone. I believe that Apple wants all the buttons to be capacitive only and not a physical a touchable button, kind of like how they did it on the iPhone 7. But in with this button, it's they're able to test. The iPhone 7 had like a button that is protruding, but it's not pressable. It just gives you like a haptic feedback. In this case, it gives you the best of both worlds where it's still clickable, halfway click or whatever, but the buttons won't be uh, coming out kind of like that. It's just gonna be flush with the body. Now, let me know what you think of the look on the dessert titanium. And what do you think about the buttons? Are they gonna make it all capacitive like this camera control? like the rest of the buttons, or it's just gonna be touch screens later on. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, just a quick video of the comparison, of the physical comparison of the iPhone 15 Pro Max and 16 Pro Max. In the software uh, part of it, there's actually not much difference aside from the, again, camera control, because the software on both of them are actually the same. You'll be able to get I Apple intelligence on the 15 Pro Max as well, same as the 16 Pro Max. I think the only difference is that you'll be able to use the camera control so that you can use Apple intelligence to, you know, do reservations from your phone and things like that. But you can do that with the 15 Pro Max, like I mentioned on other videos that you can use that with a different app, which is the Google Lens and which now actually uh, is powered with Gemini. So that's really good. Thanks for watching everyone. Again, quick video on comparison for the 16 Pro Max and the 15 Pro Max. I'll see you guys next time and follow me on Instagram uh, on Porto Legato and on my TikTok at TRX Production, Productions. See you.